Thank you, thank you very much, uh, Cho Sen Se, for introduction. Uh, I'd like to talk about this uh, stuff. Okay, so here's uh, first slide is a background of, and goal of my study. As you know, uh, small island development states, uh, I call this uh, side state from now. Uh, they, they have uh, uh, 65 million population there. So about 1% of worldwide uh, populations are living there. So uh, as you know, uh, they are vulnerable uh, by climate change due to the increase of CO2 emission uh, because there are most people living in near sea level. So if, uh, so anyway, so they are vulnerable for the climate change. So. Um, uh, so to reduce CO2 emission, uh, renewable energy is considered as a key to curtail CO2 emission. But still, uh, some skeptics, we have some skepticism about renewable energy, even in, uh, especially in Japan okay? and the US. <laughs> okay, so goal of my study is to hit this one. Estimate electricity price for power system with high renewable energy. In, in for, for side state and discuss the effect of the estimated electricity price on SDG goal, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, on, on uh, GDP growth rate. Okay, so here is a, a, a network uh, a representation of SDG. Uh, the, in this bipartite network, uh, 17 goals and 169 targets are represented. Large circle is uh, are the uh, goals, and small circles are the target. Okay, so if we eliminate this uh, target from this network, we can get this network. Uh, just a uh, 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 just a uh, uh, interrelationship with uh, with goals. Okay, so this case uh, links are not a, not a binary. Uh, we have some weight here between between SDG one and SDG ten. Uh, weight uh, equal to uh, nine. Okay, so um, so target connected by thick uh, thick links. They, they have a, a synergy effect between target. But please notice this here. Uh, energy and climate change, we have no, no links here. So that means uh, there's some trade-off between these targets. So we are concentrated on the nexus between these targets for side company, uh, side, side states. Okay, so next is a, a, a concept of, of grid integration of renewable energy. Uh, we are around uh, between this conventional system and the first phase of the smart grid. In the conventional system, uh, uh, we, uh, demand is fluctuated and we need some uh, load balancing power using a sum, sum, uh, uh, summer power plant and hydro power plant. But if we, if we want to uh, in, uh, introduce a lot of uh, wind power and solar PV, uh, we, need, we need additional uh, balancing power. So that we uh, introduced by using a large uh, <coughs> capacity of electric storage. But this one is very expensive still. But in, uh, for example, in Europe, uh, grids, grids are interconnected each other. So they don't need this one. But inside the state, they certainly need this one. Okay? But in the near future, uh, there's some possibility to introduce demand side management. But still, uh, this might introduce uh, additional technological uh, complexity. So, uh, so still this is uh, in, uh, uh, very uh, difficult to introduce with this one. So anyway, so today I'd, I'd like to uh, concentrate, concentrate on this kind of system for side states, okay? So here is a, 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 a concept of the um, uh, power system in side state. So if we have, uh, if, if the capacity of solar PV and uh, uh, diesel powers and electric storage as are uh, given, so, uh, so demands are uh, estimated for the for side company, uh, side, side state. Um, so in this state, in this, uh, in this condition, uh, diesel power or a thermal power plant can have to be used to balance the uh, load and uh, demand and supply, okay? So this is a condition. So this condition can be formulated in this way. 
uh, for the given uh, power system, we can uh, optimize this uh, function. This is basically a fuel power, a fuel, fuel cost and startup cost for the thermal power plant. Uh, this, this can be minimized. This, this has to be minimized under the uh, global condition of this one. This one is uh, actually a balance between demand and uh, supply. Uh, that fluctuation is a fluctuation of demand and solar PV is, uh, is considered in, st uh, in stochastical way. Okay, so uh, these are the, and, and also, also we use the electric stage. Uh, here is the discharge from electric stage. This is a charge into the uh, electric stage. So these are the uh, written in this way. Okay, so we ha also we have some additional uh, local constraint for each thermal power plant. So, okay, anyway, for the given system, we can uh, calculate the opti optimized um, operation for power thermal power, pl thermal power plant. But uh, uh, in addition to this, we need to, ah, uh, it's Ah, it's not in Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, uh, sorry. So in addition to this, uh, we need to um, uh, we need to determine the the system uh, uh, the power system. For to do so, we uh, we, uh, we 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 change uh, we, we we search the number of diesel power and. Uh, 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 installed capacity for solar PV and installed capacity of uh, electric storage in this in this in this range. Okay. So in addition to this, uh, we need to estimate the no uh, the uh, 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 electric uh, demand and okay. So this this is uh, these are the estimation and uh, using the solar insula insulation data uh, in side state, uh, we can estimate the output of solar PV. Okay, so, so next is uh, 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 the example of the, uh, of the demand and so solar insulation. Okay, this is, these are the uh, estimation for just one day, but our calculation include one year, and time step is just uh, one hour. So one uh, time step is about 8,000 8, 8, or so. Okay, so here is a, an example of solar insulation in, in January uh, 2016. So the insulation is uh, fluctuating in, the, in this way. So we need to consider this fluctuation into calculation. Okay, so then uh, I'd like to show the exa example of the uh, optimized calculation. This is just an uh, example for two days. One day and two day. Okay, so uh, in this case we have uh, sorry. So, uh, okay, so in in this calculation, solar PV capacity of solar PV is 12 megawatt, and uh, this in this case we have uh, five diesel powers. One, two, three, four, five here. Okay, so during the day, uh, this amount of solar PV is uh, integrated into grid, but uh, this amount. Uh, the extra uh, generation. So we charge this extra output into uh, solar, uh, into electric storage, and discharge in the evening here <coughs> and here. So in this way, we can uh, calculate the, the cheapest operation uh, 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 for the given power system. Okay. Okay, then uh, I, we calculate the uh, uh, electricity price using the uh, liberalized uh, cost of energy. Actually, system-wise liberalized cost of energy. The numerator is the expenditure. That includes uh, 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 this one, uh, in, uh, investment cost for many uh, apparatus and uh, operation and maintenance cost and fuel uh, cost uh, that are include, included. In the denominator, uh, this, this is electricity. So um, this includes the electricity uh, generation in the year. Okay, so in this way we can calculate the uh, electricity price. Okay, then the, uh, here is the condition for the LC, uh, LCOE estimation. Uh, 
the system, uh, life of the system is assumed to 12 years, and this count rate is 5%. Uh, for the uh, diesel generators and solar PVs, uh, these number of fuel price and investment cost and operation and maintenance cost uh, show, uh, are used. And this way, uh, this, in this case, uh, investment cost is and operation and maintenance cost are uh, used. Uh, okay, so actually solar PV, cost of the uh, investment cost for solar PV is cheap, but the uh, problem is uh, 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 electric storage. This might, uh, this is, electric storage is very uh, co cost high. Okay, so the next slide is a uh, uh, estimation, result of the estimation for the system-wise LCOE. I showed for the three cases. This one is a, a 12 megawatt diesel power case. This one is six megawatt for diesel power. This one is zero, mega, zero, zero megawatt. This means 100% renewable, renewable energy. And uh, uh, for the calculation, I surveyed the uh, various combination of solar PV. This case is one, uh, zero to 34 megawatt solar PV and uh, 12, 12 to 66 megawatt hour electric storage. So this area is infeasible. That means that uh, we have no solution. Okay, so uh, in each cell, I put a number. This is a system-wise LCOE. So this, in this case, in this uh, case, this cell is the cheapest, 100, 123 uh, US dollar per megawatt hour is the optimal number. For this case, uh, 245 megawatt. This, uh, so uh, diesel power is half from the first one. The last one is no diesel power. This case is cost uh, is 397 uh, US dollar. It is, that is very expensive. Okay. Okay. And then um, I uh, we. Uh, okay. So then we. Uh, we, we, we discuss about the obtained uh, electricity price. Uh, some sustainability, uh, some suscept susceptibility analysis uh, show that 1% increase in electricity price uh, will cause 0.5% uh, uh, decrease in economic growth. So uh, this number, this number actually uh, taken from uh, this one and this one as a kind of typical number. For South Africa, they have, they, they get this number. For United States, they get this number. So I use uh, 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 0.05% uh, for side state. Okay, so anyway, uh, so using this number, um, for side state, uh, 100 <coughs> renewable microgrid, uh, that is, that, uh, that, that causes a 6% decrease in economic growth. This is, this causes a significant negative impact on side economy. Okay, so this, this is, actually this is, cannot be acceptable. So, uh, next is a summary, but we have some uh, uh, different way. That is a low hanging innovation. Okay, so in, but, uh, instead of using a highly cost uh, electric storage, we can use hydrogen. So hydrogen production uh, using uh, oversupply power by solar PV during the day, uh, that is possible, relatively easy way. And uh, usage of this hydrogen in gas turbine uh, instead of the diesel fuel, diesel power. So this is a, a different uh, a, a pathway to curtail CO2 emission in side, side states. Okay, so this will uh, make possible to reduce capacity of electric storage for balancing of supply and demand. This, so uh, still uh, cost is decreasing, but still um, uh, high today for the storage. So consequently, a lower LCOE, therefore higher economic growth will be attained with less CO2 emission inside states. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Thanks for